guys, it's Kara from iStampin.com. Thanks for joining me on November's Paper Pumpkin Unboxing Kit. I just got this in the mail today, so I was really excited to do my monthly unboxing video. I do have to admit, I saw the video that Paper Pumpkin put out um, late last night. I tried, I tried to avoid it. I was scrolling through Facebook and I saw the image. And I avoided it and then I saw it a couple more times first thing this morning. I wasn't sure I was going to get this today so I went ahead and watched it and I hate, I hate that I can't, that I, I, that I can't wait until I get this but I did. I'm sorry. But it's super cute. Let me tell you, if you haven't seen it yet, um, I don't think you're going to be disappointed. And I love the uh, special box that we got this month. That's That was fun to get a blue box instead of our normal um, red box. All right. So what we have this month is Dapper Denim and Pear Pizzazz Stampin' Spots. If this is your first time seeing a Paper Pumpkin unboxing video of mine, welcome. So each month we receive at least one Stampin' Spot. Um, sometimes we do receive two, which is really cool. The great thing is, is that we never repeat a color in a calendar year. So if you are a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, after 12 months, you're gonna have uh, you know, at least 12 colors, if not more, um, and nothing repeats, which is such a nice perk. So here are the stamps that we have this month. These are exclusive. This is the only way to get uh, these stamps is to be a Paper Pumpkin subscriber. The great thing that I offer to all of my subscribers is alternate projects. So um, each month I send a link to all of my customers who are Paper Pumpkin subscribers and you get an additional anywhere between five to eight projects each month. So I love that I can do that for my customers. So we've got um, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. We've got some great sentiments to put on the inside of our card. It says, with wishes for a beautiful season, may your days be merry and bright. And then these fun icons. We've got a couple of houses and then some trees. And then that looks like some snowflakes up there. So let's go ahead and look to see what we are making. So it is called Wonderful Winterland, and so it's Christmas cards. I'm so excited. And we've got some really pretty um, decorative envelopes. So let's go ahead and open this up. And what I do is I go ahead and since I'm seeing this really for the first time in person, I do go ahead and just make the project exactly as Stampin' Up! Um, has, has intended. I just follow the directions. With the alternative projects, they are completely different. So um, if you like to see alternative projects, I would love for you to become a subscriber of mine. And if you are not familiar with Paper Pumpkin, it's $19.95 a month. The only thing that you would add to that cost is tax. The shipping is included. It um, ships directly to your house. It, your credit card is billed on the 10th and then you will get the notice that it's shipped, you know, usually the day after. Okay, so let's see what we have here. So we've got the stamp set and the stampin' spots that I've already showed you. We've got eight card bases, so that's what these are going to be. 12 laser cut sheets. So that's these right here. Eight vellum sheets. So we're gonna be stamping on some vellum it looks like. And then uh, four yards of white and silver baker's twine, 30 sequins. They were precise on that 30 sequins. We've got the mini dimensionals, and if you saw my video um, the other day, I was raving about having these little mini dimensionals. This is, I love them, so I've got some more that's great. And then we've got uh, the coordinating envelopes, and then um, some glue dots. So you get everything that you need to make the kit. Um, I always do recommend having some snail and then you just need your pair of scissors. But the great thing is, is you just put everything in the box and you just take it with you on the go. So like for me, I'm heading out of town this weekend for my daughter's um, dance convention. I'm taking my box and making my fun Christmas cards in the hotel this, uh, this weekend. So I'm excited about that. All right, so let's go ahead and follow the directions and see what we have. Thank you. 
Okay, so it says stamp card base, white layer, and inside the card. Okay, so let's get out one of our card bases. Now, um, I do like to use my full-size ink pads just because I already have them open and available. So, but this weekend I will be taking my Stampin' Spots. So I've got Dapper Denim. Let me go ahead and get out Pear Pizzazz. And that's such a pretty color combination. I haven't done those two together yet. That's the great thing about Stampin' Up. They do some really pretty color combinations. So let's go ahead and stamp what we're gonna do. I'm gonna do May Your Days Be Merry and Bright. And also, uh, when you become a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, the very first month, you receive a block that you are able to use um, with every uh, kit thereafter. Now, what I like to do for my Paper Pumpkin customers is after you've been a customer of mine uh, for three months, on the fourth month, I send you a thank you gift, which includes an extra D block, snail, which is our adhesive, a brand new um, container of snail, then a fun little paper pumpkin ballpoint pen, and all of that is encased in our plastic um, stamp case that holds our wooden stamps. So that is what I send to you for being a customer of mine. That's just what I like to do. Okay, so it looks like we are gonna be stamping on one of these guys. Okay. So we're gonna be stamping the trees and then a sentiment down there. So let's go ahead and get the trees on here. Oh, here we go. So this is what, this is the size of a D block. This isn't what it looks like anymore, but it's a nice block that you'll be receiving with your first kit. Okay, well, I was recording and just talking to myself, not quite sure how long I was talking to myself until I realized that the battery died. So <laughs> um, I think this whole step of when I stamped the trees uh, did not make the recording. So hopefully I am not gonna be repeating myself. So what I'm gonna do here is go ahead and restamp. You see that I did that here. So I'm just gonna do that again. It's really simple. So I've just got the trees on my block and I'm gonna ink those up in pear pizzazz. And I think I was talking about, honestly, I really don't remember what I was talking about because it's been, it's been about an hour, so I had to let my, had to let my battery pack um, charge up. So um, I'll just insert some text. Hopefully, if it wasn't too important, I may have just been babbling, who knows. All right, so I'm gonna line this up here. I may have been talking about how great the stamps are um, or how great being having a paper pumpkin kit is, especially when you need something quick on the go. I like to make all the cards at once and then just keep them in the box. And when I need them, they're all ready. So that's the beauty of uh, paper pumpkin. Okay, so we've got that. So the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and stamp Merry Christmas down here. And I like to, a quick little tip, I like to use my uh, grid mat um, to line up at least one of the words straight and then put it on my block so I know that um, it's, hopefully I'll get it straight when I stamp. And so I'm just gonna put the Merry Christmas down here, like that, okay. And then we're just gonna pop this out, this little laser cut, really easy to, to take out. Okay, so let me refer back to our sheet. Add dimensionals between the top and middle layers. Okay, so we need we need to get one of these. So we're gonna get just one of the single house die cuts. And then one of these. And this is where our dimensionals are gonna come into play. And it looks like they've got, they've got this one in the background. Okay, so it's gonna go like this. 
So let's go ahead and use these tiny dimensionals and we'll just put just a, a few on this side. And I'll cut all this out, me taking the paper off so you don't have to be bored. Okay, so I'm gonna adhere this to the bottom layer, just lining up the edges. Okay, that was simple. Okay, and then we're gonna come in with this one and go ahead and put dimensionals. Now I'm going to have to put, uh, when I do this one, I'll go ahead and do it right here. I'm going to have to stack up the dimensionals because I've already got the second layer on dimensionals. So to be able to make it even, I've got to put one on top of each other. So just um, put a dimensional on there, peel off the top of the backing paper, and then just put one right above it. And then that's going to allow us to have this even with that part. So then we'll just put dimensionals down here and we'll just need a single layer for that. Okay, and again, I'm just gonna match up the edges. And that was actually quite easy, a lot. That is so cute. I would, when y'all get this in person, you're just gonna love the dimension. So the next thing we're gonna do is to grab a piece of vellum and we're gonna be adhering this onto the vellum, but first we're gonna do some stamping of the stars. So let's get our little star stamp right here. We're gonna do that in dapper denim. I'm just going to do, they show just a few stars here, not too many. So just like that. And then they show um, using the glue dots to adhere the um, this piece onto the vellum. I'm just going to go ahead and use my snail. This is where sometimes snail is just a lot easier than having to put glue dots down. And then we're just going to carefully adhere this to the bottom without ripping any of the laser cut. Okay, and then this is just gonna adhere to the front using glue dots. So we'll go ahead and use the glue dots that came with the kit. And these are really easy to get off. This makes it a little bit easier. Okay, and then we're gonna come in and just attach that to the card front. It looks like it's the same size as the card front. So we just wanna make sure we've got that lined up at least on one side and then that can help us make sure it's lined up on the other side. There we go. Okay, cute, cute, cute. All right, so then it looks like the last step is to um, get the baker's twine right here. It's asking for 16 inches. And we're gonna tie that around the front in a bow. And then we are going to adhere the sequins on there. And then we will be all done. So let's just see if we can do this quickly the first time. Quickly and correctly, how about that? Now a little tip with um, the metallic bow, the twine that's wrapped does have a tendency to um, kind of twist on itself. If you get rubbing alcohol 
I keep my rubbing alcohol in one of our little mister bottles. I like to spray it in my palm and just rub the twine um, in there and then uh, that will keep it from twisting like this. This is actually doing pretty good. Okay, and then let's just cut the tails. Oops. And then let's come in here and it says, it doesn't say how many sequins, so I'm just gonna do three. I just like to do odd numbers. And again, it says to use the glue dots to adhere this down, so. Just using my scissors here to put the glue. So one, I'm gonna do like a little visual triangle with the sequins. So what that means is I'm gonna just kind of make a triangle with the shape and one down here. And then just take the the paper off. And then just finish it off by putting the little sequence on there. And you are all done. Very cute. Really cute. It's really cute in person. I think y'all are going to love this kit. All right, guys. Well, I hope you loved this month's uh, paper pumpkin kit. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as head on over to my blog, istampin.com, and, and sign up for my exclusive newsletter. If you would like to become a paper pumpkin subscriber of mine, I will uh, put the information in the description box on how you can sign up. And if you want to make sure that you receive December's kit, you just want to join by December 10th. All right, guys, have a fabulous weekend, and I'll see you next week for more projects. Bye, guys.